Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about dynamic CMOS circuit design. Till now, we have seen various logic circuits in the static CMOS circuit design, like complementary CMOS circuit design, ratio logic. Again, in the ratio logic, there are two types: DC, VSL, and pseudonymous logic. And the last type is fast transistor logic. So these are the three different logic functions implementations we have seen examples we have seen all these are used for the static schema circuit design and now we are going to see dynamic schema circuit design i already told you what is the difference between static and dynamic schema circuit designs static schema circuit design means only the input is constant the input the particular input states whatever we are giving that is constant for until we are giving change in that okay but whereas in the dynamic schema circuit design the input changes continuously with respect to time for example clock signal okay that is the basic difference between cmos uh, which is made up of static circuit and which is made up of dynamic circuits okay so now static cmos just recall those two statements static schema circuits use static cmos circuits use complementary nmos pull down complementary nmos pull down and pmos pull up and pmos pull up network to implement logic gates or logic functions in the ics to implement logic gate or logic functions in integrated circuits but regarding dynamic cmos dynamic cmos use a clocked pmos pull up clocked pmos pull up the implemented logic function or the logic gate is achieved through two modes of operation the implemented logic function works in two modes of logic modes of operation what are those what are those two logic modes one is pre charge one is pre recharge another one is evaluation pre charge and evaluate pre charge and evaluate you can say okay these are the two modes of operation of the cmos circuit design when we are working with respect to the uh, uh, what is this a dynamic cmos circuit design okay so these are the differences of the static and dynamic and uh, what are the different modes of operation of the dynamic circuit design like a pre charge and evaluation now let us check for example we can say let us consider the basic principle basic principle basic principle what do you mean by basic principle and that means in this basic principle you are going to see how the construction of the dynamic schema circuit taking place and as well as how a dynamic signal is going to apply it in order to understand the operation of the a schema circuit design what is this uh, dynamic schema circuit design here in the dynamic schema circuit clock signal is used clock is used because dynamic is nothing but changing with respect to time that particular change is occurred in the uh, clock signal only because clock signal if you if you are asked to draw the clock signal it continuously changes up and down up and down like this it will not have a consistent in the out input that means it is not static 
okay that's why it is the dynamic now if you see this figure we can we can understand that a pmos transistor additionally we are using in the pull up device and in the pull down we are having additionally one nmos transistor which is applied with a clock signal both are applied with the clock signal means one is in on and the one is off depending upon the state of the clock signal i told you there are two operations of the uh, uh, what is this particular uh, circuit one is pre charge another one is the evaluate so two modes i am rewriting here pre charge and evaluate now let us see what happens when consider a case when clock is equal to 0 consider a case when clock signal is equal to 0 clock signal is equal to 0 means here 0 here 0 this 0 makes the pmos transistor np that makes mp on and what about mn mn or me me we have taken me me so me is in evaluate transistor whereas mp is a pre-charge transistor because but the names are given in such a way that when capacitor charges and when capacitor discharges this particular concept came into existence mp is responsible for the taking of the capacitor voltage across capacitor to maximum minimum voltage and as well as me is also taking care for the same but when me is on along with pdn all becomes off that means me becomes off now when mp is a non state there exists a current flow from mp to this particular transistor cl what about the cl now cl charges this particular concept leads cl charges this c in this duration in this duration pre charge is taking place pre charge is taking place pre charge but not every time when clock is equal to 0 even that 0 is also occurred for short duration because clock is a continuous signal it will not say for 10 seconds or 1 second within very short time like microseconds or nanoseconds the input is just a 0 and this MP comes into on state and capacitor charges that means pre charge initially the voltage across capacitor is 0 now we are adding some voltage nothing but by passing through a capacitor we are giving some current or voltage across the capacitor so the capacitor charges this is called pre charge now the second case is evaluate 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 is nothing but decremental period pre charging previously in in previous mode of operation we have discussed that the capacitor charges now the capacitor discharges when clock signal is equal to 1 when clock signal is equal to 1 what happens mp transistor in off state and me is in on state so mp is off mn is on okay so mp of mn more precisely you can say me mp of me on when clock is equal to 1 as me is equal to on see here what happens when me is equal to 1 along with that if pdn also on then the capacitor discharges through the pull down networks and through the transistor me okay but here this condition will occur when the pull down network is in on state when pull down network is not in on state there is no capacitor there is no for path for the capacitor to discharge but if we are having a gift with if we are having this particular pdn uh, this pull down network when we are having this pull down network with uh, on state this particular condition occurs but when it is in off state the capacitor waits like that uh, when me is on 
along with that when pull down network is on then evaluation phase evaluation phase occurs evaluation phase occurs but when pull down network is off then no current or discharge occurs because pull down network is off state and there is no flow of current the capacitor will not discharge evaluation phase will not occur okay so in order to accomplish the evaluation phase the mn should be on as well as the pull down network should be also in on state okay um, we can say again once the capacitor suppose assume that uh, me is in on state and the pillar network is also in on state and now the capacitor discharges completely now when the capacitor again charges nothing but pre charge the pre charge may occur when the pre charge may occur when again uh, clock signal comes into zero here one important note we should remember after complete discharge the pre charge will the pre charge will occur when clock goes to zero and clock goes to zero then mp is a non state and again capacitor charges as the current flows from the led to capacitor okay so unless and otherwise it is a zero there is no recharge occurs so that the capacitor will not charge okay so here the entire operation of the uh, charging and discharging uh, these two modes like uh, pre charge and as well as evaluation phase completely depending upon the clock signal which is a dynamic signal clock is a dynamic signal that's why this type of circuit comes under dynamic cmos logic circuit dynamic cmos logic circuit okay so this is if you understand this particular dynamic cmos logic circuit in the next uh, videos coming videos i will explain about uh, types of uh, dynamic cmos circuit lot of circuits are there sequential logic circuits are there like flip flops master slave flip flops so many concepts are there that are working with respect to this dynamic cmos logic circuit nothing but clock signal okay already we have seen previously um, the circuits without clock signal that comes under static circuit design okay thank you